Hi, my name is Lindsay Gans and I'm the director of the Columbus Public Library. Today we are going to be making a wall hanging with owls on a branch um, and we hope that you can join us um, by picking up a kit at the library with all of the materials that you will need to make this adorable craft. So join me and I will show you all of the steps of how to create this craft. So the first thing you want to do is take your wood slice and uh, your branch and your rocks and you want to find out um, how you're going to lay out uh, your project. Um, you know, you can move your rocks around to see, do you like them um, nestled together like that or flip them around or possibly have them um, like this because you want to make sure that they're sitting on the branch nicely. Um, and I think that I like that. Um, and you also want to kind of check your wood slice too to see which way um, you know looks best for you. And I think that I'm going to go um, and work with my project like this. So I'll set aside the stick and the stones. Um, and then you'll take your paint marker and this is provided in the kit. Because um, the first thing we're going to do is um, paint on the wood slice so that we have um, allow time for that to dry. So if you want to shake your marker. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> okay, so um, I am going to start by, um, to get your marker going a little bit, you have to um, press down. And I'm going to start by making my the moon first. So to get the paint moving out of the pens, it recommends that you um, shake the pen 20 times. So make sure you do that before you begin your project and um, it should go a little bit better for you. Okay, so I have my first coat on of uh, paint on the wood slice, um, and while that dries a little bit more, I am going to do the painted owl rock. And as you can see, I have a couple of different samples here. Um, so you can, um, we'll be sending um, a picture of some owls in with your kit so that you can have some inspiration. Otherwise, you can feel free to go online to see some ideas of how you can. Um, paint your your owls. So I want mine to nest together just like so on a branch. Um, so I'm going to start with um, some eyes here and you want to be really careful that you don't get um, too much paint flowing on your rocks um, so that it doesn't drip too far but I'm going to start with the eyes. So these pens work really well for all the fine tip um, drawing that you need to do on the rocks. It takes a little bit longer to get it on your wood slice um, since it is a fine tip, but like I said, it's perfect for all of the detail work that you'll want to do with your owls here. Um, so I'm going to start with the, the eyes and then I'm going to put a little nose in and if you just do a, a diamond for the nose or for the beak, um, that works well. And I'm going to add, on this one, I'm going to add a little um, wing in here on both sides. And actually, I need to get the paint going a little bit. I'm going to do that on my wood slice so that I don't, uh, there we go. And 
And if you go over it twice, you get a nice line. You can see it's, it's a little thin in some of these places, so I'm gonna go over it a second time. There we go. And then you can add in some different decorations, like as you can see here, I have some little crisscrosses and some little dots and um, some little feathers. So you can get creative and um, add in any little um, embellishments that you want on your little owl. They're pretty cute. Okay, so I think I might add in a little bit of black too, just to give it um, some interesting uh, texture here too. So you can kind of decide where you want to add some black. I'm going to do some dots in here. And I think I'm going to make the beak black. And this one's really hard to tell, but I did put actually little hearts for the eyes. So I really liked that. So I'm going to do that on this one as well. And I think he's looking pretty cute. So I like how that looks and I'm going to start on the next one. So I think actually maybe I want to go like this because I really like how those eyes go out like that. So I'm going to try to do a similar shape on this owl. And I think I like how that looks. All right, so after you get your second coat of paint onto your wood slice, you can go ahead and um, put your stars in randomly th throughout the, the sky. And I like to make some small and some a little bit thicker. pretty good. All right, so in your kit you will also um, get these strips right here um, of glue dots and you'll have one long strip which will be for your um, for your branch and then the two skinny ones are going to be um, to connect the twine and two bigger ones for your owls. So I'm going to get them set back up on here first before I commit um, with my glue. And so if you peel it just like so, stick that right onto the back. And I'll push them down. And these are extra strength glue dots, so they should hold the owls and branch in place pretty nicely. And if you do it this way, you don't actually have to touch the, the glue dots. I push, I'm pushing down um, fairly hard here until I feel like it's secure and as you can see as I'm moving it, um, it's, it's pretty secure on there. I 
I'm just moving my stick around a little bit here to get the glue down to stick. There we go. So I just finished securing the owls and the branch to the wood slice. Um, and as you can see, um, I just put the twine in the back like so. And um, I think the paint was just a little bit wet so my owls aren't sticking quite as well as they would. So just make sure that your paint is nice and dry um, before you try to um, put your owls onto your wood slice. Um, so once again, please stop by the Columbus Public Library to pick up your kit. You have everything you need to make to, to make one of these adorable um, owl wall hangings. And um, we'll have kits available for the entire month um, as long as supplies last. So we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.